Hello and welcome to another Pi presentation video. Uh, let's have a closer look at this gorgeous W.O. Larson pipe. Um, <clears throat> I wrote quite a bit about it in the description. Um, I'm positively sure it was. It, this is an example made by Teddy Knudsen uh, back in the second uh, period of W.O. Larson. Um, First, thanks to Pipedia and books I own, I was able to learn um, these informations. And um, I do know that 1223 was sold so far, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, same pipe, except that this part was in sandblasted finish. I think maybe one or two years ago. Same unsmoked condition. Um, of course, uh, this one is better considering it's in entirely smooth finish. Now, <clears throat> I'll leave it up to you to do your research, read the listing and just enjoy everything this pipe has to offer. Let's, uh, let's just have a closer look. We have the wider and shallow saddle stem, oval lip. Half bent shape, original coating inside, Plato top on rim, as you can see. It's a bit higher on this side, you can see it like this. Um, stain is in orange color and uh, there is uh, very nice grain on it, not maybe covered entirely in straight, but it is very, very nice. Um, what can I tell you about this pipe? Um, simply while holding it, it's re relatively light in the hand. It simply feels like a high quality pipe when you pick it up. Um, I personally appreciate the uh, size of it. It's a medium size pipe. It's a smaller size pipe with a wider and deep space chamber. Of course, really comfortable to hold with both hands. I appreciate that it's not filtered. Um, I do prefer smooth grain instead of combination with sandblasting, although that one does look great. Same as this one. And um, everything about it was really done perfectly. Drilling is in dead center at the bottom. Um, briar selection, Valkyte stem, everything is really top notch. Um, this is really a highly collectible uh, pipe, especially in unsmoked condition. And just let me show you real quick. It comes with this sleeve, sort of rubbery like, it's a bit hard on touch. Uh, it might be the case that it has simply dried a bit, so it needs to be softened up. We don't have those creams for, for leather that will make it um, soft and you know creamy again on the feel this also came with the box interesting stuff how to keep your how to break in your pipe how to clean it and maintain how to keep your larsen pipe in perfect condition it's simply well said um box I'm going to start placing uh, stuff inside or putting stuff inside. That's the pipe. Let's close it. Box has seen better days, but it came with the pipe, so it's always a big plus, of course. Um, that's all for this short presentation. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.